Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm David from Practical Driving Help. Today we're going to do a little mock test here with Vikas. Vikas has got his test in about uh, two, weeks time. two weeks time. Um, How many hours? You've not had a lot of hours really. You've had about I've already four, or so. four hours uh, and now we have left with six hours more. Good. Okay, so we're at a block of ten. And two of these hours are going to be for the test. Of course, Vikas has had... Uh, uh, previous driving experience and is presently driving on an international license in the UK so that's good so what we're going to do a little mock test is to see where Vikas is in his driving test ability remember the test is a bit different from normal driving guys as you probably already know so um, I'm going to take a wee note of any faults that uh, Vikas makes Vikas is just going to follow the road ahead on my instructions I'll take you over various different conditions of road and uh, I'll probably get you to do a manoeuvre in between that. We'll go do a typical test route from here okay. in Edinburgh. And uh, we're here at the, Cur the, the Curry Test Centre in Edinburgh, guys. And uh, But it doesn't matter where you are in the UK. Uh, you just have to do the same style of driving and the same routines for everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so have you any questions? No. No? Good. Good. So we're going to move on from here. Vegas is going to follow my directions. Okay, so right. whenever you're ready, we'll move off and just follow the road ahead and I'll give you directions from there. Okay everyone, so immediately there was a fault on starting here. Uh, Vegas didn't actually signal right away. He, there was a couple of people standing in front of us and there was someone walking across the road. And when he looked over his shoulder he didn't signal, he started moving and uh, he then popped a signal on and then it went off again. It was far too late and was insufficient for moving off safely and would therefore have been a serious fault. At the end of the road here, turn left, please. And take the next on the left. Once you get over the speed bump, I'll get you just to pull up on the left, please. A safe place. Don't worry about the driveways on this occasion, so you can block a driveway if you need to. That's fine, thanks very much. Now, I'm going to get you to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, sat navigation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to get you to follow the sat nav. Always remember not to follow the speeds that you might see on a sat navigation. Okay, while I'm explaining about the sat navigation uh, requirements, Vikas moves off again without a signal this time. And uh, there was a vehicle behind us, although Vikas says that he had uh, made the observations, and uh, but there was no signal from us, and therefore I had to stop him, because we didn't know if their signal was to overtake okay. us. You'll see it now. I'll just stop you here just a second hold that car. It's just, going to go. just in case it was signaling past you. Okay, that's fine. I've already checked it out. Yeah, it's just that you're not giving a signal, Vika, so you're not signaling right. to move on. So just to confirm that uh, because we had no signal, therefore not informing anyone of moving off again, and this is a second time already, and uh, that's the reason why I touched the brake. I think if we had signalled, I would have probably allowed the vehicle to move on, and uh, I wouldn't have probably stopped them at that point.
at the second exit. Okay, so I'm just going to follow that. The gas okay? Okay. It's not that. Roundabout at the second exit, then leave the roundabout. This roundabout is ahead for second exit, the uh, second but exit. unfortunately, Vika signals right. Put your signal off here because you're going ahead here, aren't you? Second exit. If you look closely whilst leaving this roundabout, you'll notice Vikas does not check his left mirror to exit. So you can clearly see that the third exit is Edinburgh A71. The blue circle on the left is for buses only, therefore is not counted as an exit in this occasion. But you will see that Vikas does actually make a fault on his independent driving and comes off on the second exit. Vikas does signal right, so he knows he's going right. So let me talk you through, um, we've passed here the first exit, but you see Vekas, it doesn't check his left mirror either, and he does signal left to exit here, but clearly it's for Hermiston, and uh, doesn't realise he's actually came off on the wrong exit. Make a U-turn if possible. So the sat navigation is asking you to make a U-turn if possible because you used the wrong exit on the roundabout. Now I'd just like to clarify, if you do use the wrong exit on the roundabout, it's not the end of the world and as long as you check your mirrors and signal for the exit that you've taken, then you've not really made a fault. However, the examiner will manage to get you back onto the route. However, in this case, of course, Vikas didn't actually check his left mirror again, so really that's another minor fault for mirrors changing direction. But unfortunately another fault on the mirrors is just coming up. I've asked Vikas to turn right, watch what it does and watch closely his observations. So clearly there was no right mirror check there and is now unfortunately a serious fault for persistent um, mirrors changing direction faults. Okay, just to pull up on the left behind the truck there. It's fine, just stop here, it's fine, good. Make a U-turn if possible. So now we're back on track again, we're heading up to the roundabout, taking the first exit, uh, but unfortunately a timing fault in signalling, uh, Vika signals are a little bit too early, and I've asked them to switch it off because there was a vehicle all around. Signal off again just now Vika, because you've got a junction here on the left before the roundabout. But now you can put it to use the right hand lane here uh, because
Now, I'm going to actually switch off the sat nav. I'm not going to get you to actually go on the south road um, because we don't have the time. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get you to go back round where we came, and I'm going to give you directions to do that. So I want you just to uh, disregard the sat navigation at the moment, please. Don't signal left. Keep the signal right here. Yeah? And follow the road around and staying in this lane. Yeah? Follow the road around, staying in this lane. And just keep in your lane. And we're just going to come off of the lane as normal. Okay. Okay. So you have to go left or? You're turning left, you're going to exit on this junk, uh, this exit here. So if you just do your mirrors and signal left here, please. And just follow my directions from here, okay? It's just that we don't have the time to go on to the, the south bypass. It takes us <coughs> too far away. <coughs> but what I want you to do is I want you to go up to the next roundabout and turn right. Okay, turning right. And it will be the fourth exit, okay? The fourth exit. So just for confirmation, this is the first exit. You can see that this is not an exit, this one. This is the second exit. This is the third exit. And this is the fourth exit. Now I need you to try and get back over to your normal route, which is to the left lane, of course. But I can't uh, overtake this lane, right? Can't you? This is a hard line, right? So it's a bus lane, yes. Yeah. No, it is the, a hard the, line, right? It's a bus lane. bus lane. So at this point, everyone, I was just trying to clear up uh, a little bit of confusion that Vic has had in relation to the solid white line protecting the bus lane. Remember that the solid white line that's protecting the bus lane only applies during the time when the bus lane restriction is in force. So at the traffic, sorry, at Bankhead Roundabout, follow the road for city centre. It's the second exit. Now you'll notice that in this case, I had to come in and actually instruct uh, Vikas to do his mirrors and signal this time because it's happened too many times. Mirrors and signal. Okay, you must check your mirrors and signal before turning into a new road from a roundabout also. Again, just follow the road for city centre, second exit. Mirrors, signal. So you need to do your mirrors and signal when you're passing the junction before the one you're taking, okay? So if you're taking the second, you signal after the first. Well, mirrors and signal after the first.
still the same, following the road for city centre. So we'll take a minor fault uh, on uh, progress because uh, although the, the route is clear, um, Vicus was unable to get above, uh, I would say, 34, 35 mile an hour on a 40 stretch. So this is the first exit, so you do your mirrors and signal now, and then that driver can see your signal, and the drivers ahead of you can see your signal. Once you get past the crossing, we'll take a right turn there. You can use your car if you want, you can do a Palo Park area. That's fine. 
So I'm getting you to move off again from here and just follow the road ahead. what we'll do is a little turn around okay so if you just keep going ahead and you can pull up on the left and we can reverse into the little side road there okay pull up on the left. yeah just pull up on the left here and you can just stop here let's go and then you can just reverse back into that little okay so we've got a little bit uh 25 minute there on that thing so <coughs> any any problems you think that you might have had on that particular journey yeah. other than the gps yes but what you, you would have failed on on that particular journey is right away right away when we moved off you moved off there was four people there was three people getting out of their car two people getting out of their car the other one was walking across the road you were looking over your right shoulder your car moved off nearly to the middle of the road without even a signal and then when you were out there, you decided to signal when you saw them. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you'd already made the error mm -hmm. of safety and moved off without a warning to anyone who was around okay. you. It wasn't safe to move off at that point. Okay. And there was people in front of you, pedestrians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you did it again, actually, when we went round the corner. Remember when you said to me that car's turning right? Yeah, okay. I saw the car behind us, it signaled right possibly to either overtake you, which would be normal, or to turn right into the driveway. Mm -hmm. You're correct, they were, but you didn't signal again. Okay. And you were actually rolling forward whilst making an assessment on these people. And I put the brake on you again. Okay. So yeah, definitely you would have failed your test on it. The moving off safety would have been issued there. Again, you're still having issues exiting a roundabout. You're still not checking your mirrors correctly okay. and signalling before you exit a roundabout. Okay. In one case, you were going ahead at the roundabout and you signalled right. And I asked you to put the signal off. Okay. Remember that? At Hermiston. Sorry, beg your pardon. It was Harry at what roundabout? Mm -hmm. You're following the road ahead, second exit. Mm -hmm. It's at 12 o'clock. Okay. And when you got on the roundabout, you signalled right. Oh, really? I thought it was a mistake, but the signal went off and you reapplied it. Okay. And then I knew you were probably signalling just because you were steering right. Okay. And that you weren't signalling for your exit. Okay. You just have to check your mirrors and signal right, but I asked so you I to put the signal off. the third exit it said, right? Nope. The second exit. Second exit, exit. yeah. Okay. The next one um, was Hermiston and... Uh, we went down, you counted the the, the park and ride exit. Mm -hmm. That's buses only, mm -hmm. and that's not classed. Plus the fact that the sat-nav was quite clear about where it wanted you to go, mm -hmm. and you took the wrong route. So anyway, we got ourselves back on the route again, and uh, we managed to turn left, and we went up to the Calder Junction. I had to cancel the sat-nav at that point, because really we were too late to carry on for mm -hmm. what we wanted to do. So I brought you back again and I asked you to turn right at Hermiston. And that's when you went around Hermiston Junction, you didn't take the spiral for the fourth exit. You, uh, I, I was counting the exits for you. I told you not to, to count the, the one for the, the park and ride, yeah? Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you didn't follow the spiral for, the, for that exit. Mm -hmm. You went into the inside and then you came off on the right and that's where you ended up away across on the right hand side and failed to use the spiral on Hermiston. I suggest you look at some of my videos on the Hermiston Junction sure, sure. and you'll see that, yeah? Okay. So there are definitely an awful lot of mirror and signaling issues. Okay. okay guys, so the rest of the chat was basically just some more feedback and advice uh, for Vikas. Uh, he's got his test uh, pretty soon and uh, needs a little bit of work done to that and we'll monitor that uh, in the future videos uh yeah thanks for coming along and watching and uh, i really do hope you subscribe to the channel it keeps it going it keeps me uh, enthusiastic about making these videos and of course 
there's no payment to subscribe uh, and you can soon unsubscribe if you really wish to um, but the good thing about subscribing is that you'll get notified as soon as another video comes out and you'll be one of the first to see the new video so again guys uh, I'd like to thank you all um, and I hope that you enjoyed uh, today's video and uh, hopefully we'll make a little bit more like this um, I quite enjoy myself doing the, the kind of mock sort of test uh, videos so uh, yeah so see you again soon and, and see you in another day so that's an accurate uh, little account but we can have a look at the you've seen the video by now anyway and we'll see if I'm accurate enough but you'll probably find that I've put on the video if you look at it closely you can pull up a lot more fault okay yeah yeah because uh, like I say we're only human and uh, we all make mistakes so uh, but other than that your general driving you can obviously handle the car but actual the test you're going to have big issues at the moment with your observations and uh, you need to get your speed down sooner for roundabouts i noticed you need to get your gear as well but you did that coming back it was a little bit better um so we just got a little bit of work to do on that yeah sure. we've got four hours to get that done sure okay guys thank you see you again cheers thank you david okay